As you're completing your roadmap with your clients, remember that your follow-up is one of the most crucial pieces. Following up with your clients is going to help with your retention and making sure that your residual income stays strong. There are several different ways that you can do this follow-up, but we wanna make sure that you have the best practices possible. At Magellan Healthcare, we've come up with a client retention follow-up process that we feel really works. When you first complete an initial sale with a client, you're gonna to wanna to follow up 10 days after to see if they have any questions and if they received their documentation by email or mail yet. We then suggest that you follow up 30 days later, see how things are going, check in on their life, and then ask them how everything is. Have they used the coverage yet? This is a great time to do any cross sale if you didn't do it in the initial appointment. Perhaps now is the time to talk about dental vision hearing or a cancer plan. Whatever you decide to cover with them, make sure that you're answering their questions and handling their problems first so they never feel like you're just calling to sell them something else. Follow up again at 60 days just to see if they have additional questions, how things are, and if they've used their coverage again. Make sure every time you follow up that your clients know you are there whenever they need help and understand how to best reach you. After the initial sales process, your follow-ups will be a bit more routine, but they shouldn't feel like that to your client. Every year before the annual election period, we'll want you to send out an AEP letter or email, whatever you prefer, that will remind your clients that that time period is coming up and you are there to help them. Make sure you place helpful information within the letter that they will feel you're giving them value. Things like the annual notice of change that come from the carrier can be very confusing to the client. So if you let them know that's coming and how they can utilize it best, that will make them feel more secure during that period. Whenever your clients feel like they're more secure and they understand what's happening, you're adding value that cannot be replaced. Other ways to follow up with your client are birthday cards, holiday cards, or New Year's cards. Little things that let them know that you're thinking of them. Give us a call at Magellan Healthcare for tips on how you can send out custom cards that appear to be handwritten, but save you time to be printed digitally. Next, we really suggest that you do at least one client event per year. Whether that appreciation event is just for clients or clients with a referral that they bring, you're adding value, showing them that you want to help them, but also showing them that you just appreciate them. Some agents love to provide pies at Thanksgiving. Others will do wine and paint nights where they cover some kind of new topic in the financial world to add that additional information to their client, but also just help them to feel like they have a relationship that is strong. We want you to reach out to your clients at least quarterly, no matter how these fit in, so that you are always top of mind. Remember, your clients are always another agent's prospects. If you're not dripping on them and showing them that they're appreciated, someone else will. Don't let somebody else get into your client's household. Close the back door by just following up. Give us a call at Magellan Healthcare so we can help you build your fail-proof roadmap today. Yeah.